Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today I have a special construction update for you here from Universal Studios Beijing. Um, based on past Universal Studios Beijing videos, they've been getting uh, lots of support from uh, you guys, so definitely wanted to give an update to this park. All these photos that you see, as you can see, are credit from Theme Park X. Go to themeparkx.com, and you can see tons more photos. I only have about seven of them. I picked about seven of the most interesting photos here. And, uh, but there's tons of photos in there, like daily updates. <laughs> so often go and check on uh, that website for that. But as you can see, the iconic Universal <laughs> sign is starting to pop up. We have the L forming right here with the Africa part of the globe. <laughs> And expect the site to, or the the rest of the sign to come in the coming days, if not by the end of the week. Moving on to the second photo, this is a long shot here, and as soon as I saw this photo, I was like, "Wow, this definitely has to be my thumbnail." It's so beautiful. As you can see, the kind of a wide range of the park with the the centerpiece being the Jurassic World area, and that's where the, that crane is and those mountains. And as you see to the left of the crane, you see the Discovery Center area, and then the, the black coaster is the Transformers Decepticon coaster, which is a uh, exact clone of the Incredible Hulk coaster at Islands of Adventure. And, and a couple pictures down the line, or the next picture, you'll get to see um, the really cool launch tunnel. Um, it's like a Decepticon like uh, wrapped launch channel. It's really really cool, um, and I love the black color scheme of the coaster as well. But yeah, it's, it's, that, it's, it's the exact same coaster <laughs> that you can find in Orlando. And we have this picture. You see, we have this. Uh, I actually <laughs> wasn't sure what this was. I actually thought it was like the other side of the Jurassic World mountains. But now that I'm looking at it, it's obviously the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And, well, it's not really obviously, because like I said, it took me, I've looked at these pictures for at least, uh, like, 30 minutes. And it only took me to those recording this voiceover to realize those are the three pillars of Forbidden Journey and the, uh, the rock work down below. And, of course, the show building. And, as is, that's exactly how it looks like at Universal Studios Hollywood. So that's how I realized. Oh wait a second! This is Wizarding World. Um, I think that must be the Waterworld stage in the foreground. That's also was kind of throwing me off because they're like, "Wow, what is that stage?" And then what are those mountains? So it's obviously Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and then hogs me to <laughs> the back, and then the World of Color or uh, the Waterworld stage uh, <laughs> in the foreground. And here's yet another picture and a wide view again of the incredible art, the Transformers Decepticon coaster. And there's that launch tunnel kind of wraps it's that that really cool launch tunnel that's there. The building in the foreground is the Transformers dark right? <laughs> that's rather all the Universal Parks across the globe. And what definitely sprouted up out of nowhere, definitely since the last construction update, was the Universal Studios Hotel. And the hotel is actually taller than I thought it was going to be, and it looks, it looks really cool. Um, I like the architecture, and um, it, people should have definitely some beautiful views into the park for the park facing views, and actually looks like most of the views you will definitely be able to see um, inside the park, which is awesome. That is, I don't know, maybe like 20 stories? That's awesome. That hotel right there. And then you move on over here we got another look at the Jurassic Park or the um, the uh, Jurassic World Discovery Center right here and I also chose the picture because I want you to uh, uh, let me know in the comments below do you think this is um in the back the white that looks like maybe super silly fun land maybe because it's kind of like it's obviously not a real roller coaster, but it looks like maybe a banner or like a, like a marquee for Super Silly Funland. Definitely, uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. But uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's like maybe, I, I'm thinking it's Super Silly Funland, but um, I'm not entirely sure to be honest. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What you think that the white 
marquee or roller looking thing is. And as we move on to the next picture, it's just a closer picture of that, uh, the hotel with the, the cool dome-like structure and the spire there. It's like a kind of like a older hotel. I'm trying to think of the vibe they're going with. Maybe like classic. I, I don't. Maybe I don't think classic Hollywood. Definitely the architecture is like older. So I'm thinking maybe like class like classic Los Angeles maybe because it's not really. Yeah, I can't really say it's designed like an iconic old Hollywood building at the Roosevelt Hotel or anything, but almost like a like a California mission or something. Very, very interesting. Let me know what you guys think this hotel reminds you of in the comments below. But yeah, I'm definitely thinking like it's a mission type or Spanish Colonel Revival. It's like California architecture um, right in the middle of China. <laughs> And moving on to our last picture here, we have yet an, another look at the back half of the Decepticon coaster and a show building that I'm not entirely sure. Or that Actually, that has to be the Transformers show building as well. Yeah, that definitely has to be the Transformers show building. Yeah, that is... For sure, the Transformers show building, and it's just another angle of this project going on. Oops, my bad. If you hear that noise, I'm sorry. And as we go on to our final picture, it's very, very interesting because we have <laughs> our confirmation that the Jurassic World Dark Ride suspended coaster, whatever it is, as you see here, by this track is indeed um, the rumored um, suspension coaster like I put in a previous video months ago that um, from Europe, I think it's Europa Park? <laughs> the King Arthur ride is like a suspended dark ride type of thing like an enhanced Peter Pan but it's like an actually suspended coaster um, that has like coaster elements and dark ride elements that's what this stress world ride was rumored to be and it looks like that is going to be the case which is awesome. I mean, I hope something like this comes to the U.S., either in Epic Universe or here in Orlando. I'm uh, sorry, here in Hollywood. But I love, especially the more like mountain structures like this. I love it. I can put it on the lower lot to replace Mummy, maybe here in Orlando or er, Hollywood. But yeah, that is super cool. Um, super cool ride system. Comment your thoughts below on what you guys think about this as well. And that is the last photo I have for you. You can check out Theme Park X for the full set of photos for daily updates on Universal Studios um, Beijing. <laughs> Subscribe for more Theme Park updates as well. <laughs> and uh, like uh, we had recent videos of when Shanghai reopens, Shanghai Disney reopens uh, on Monday the 11th. And when other theme parks will be reopened as well as other good stuff. Let me know your thoughts below and subscribe below.